Hi, I'm Joe Daniel from JoeDanielFootball.com and the Football Coaching Podcast. Today we're going to be looking at the post-out passing concept. And this is a pass concept that we use within our pistol power offense system and one that uh, a lot of teams use. It's not an uncommon passing concept or anything new. We'll just talk a little bit about how we run it, how we read it, a little more detail into it. And a lot of this, of course, I got from uh, Coach Bill Mountjoy. He was an excellent football coach. He does a great job of describing all this and I just kind of put it uh, into a video sometimes. Uh, so... The first thing that we're going to do on the post, this is a five-step concept. Uh, and with the post, uh, five-step drop, we've got our quarterback in pistol here, which means it's just going to be a three-step out of the pistol. He'll catch the snap, one, two, three. We're going to set our protection call to the right side for now. So uh, we're going to have our protection call to the right. We're going to have our man side over here. Um, we'll be manned with the center. Of course, we'll be using our drops and everything here. Uh, we could declare this as a box call which might be a good thing to do with this particular passing concept, meaning that we would have our uh, five responsible for these five. But what we see a lot of is these guys are up here um, and really what's a 5-2. It's drawn as a 3-4, but uh, we'll see these guys up and really a 5-2, five, two, five, two, uh, especially to, to the uh, wide side. And so we'll want to uh, call it that way. And so what we'll do with that, one of the good things about it is on our backside zone now, um, we can get some help on it. So, he'll be stepping up, checking backer. Um, since we've declared this backer in our call, he doesn't have to dual check. He's just going to check. Okay, backer doesn't come. Then he's going to be getting out into a shoot route, which I'll drop the routes in just a second. Um, and then on the backside, he's got the nose, the end. Um, excuse me, he's got the... Um, we're responsible for the backer, the defensive end, and our H-back would be in a check release on the uh, overhang out here. And again, we could say that this is gonna be man against all of this and have the R dual check here. Um, there's some different things that we can do with the protection, but just as a base way of protecting it, uh, that's what we're gonna do. Quarterback in a five step, R checking to the right. We're going to run a seven step post, okay? Start with the outside foot back. Uh, he's gonna to get to the seventh step. On the seventh step, he should be uh, stepping with that outside foot again and then driving to the near upright. We really want this ball thrown. Uh, it's actually gonna be a deeper route than that. We really want this ball thrown off the break. Our Y, in this case, our inside receiver and our routes are mirror route concepts. So outside receiver and inside receiver are basically running the same thing to both sides with one exception on the check release. We're going to get a 10 yard, 90 degree out. Okay, so he's gonna get a 10 yard release turn 90 degrees and run the out. RR is going to check, okay? Uh, he's going to check if that backer doesn't come, he's running the shoot route right now, okay? And he's running a four yard shoot. Uh, so he's a little deeper than that. And you could flare him, you could change it up. Um, but really we're looking at a four yard deep shoot. So we've got four, 10, uh, and this should be breaking around 12 and getting uh, depth from there. Backside, same route. Okay, he's going to be getting seven steps. The only thing with the backside post is we don't want it to cross over the hash because we don't want two posts running into each other. So when he gets to the hash, he will skinny this up on the hash uh, and take it there. He will not continue to run his post uh, across the hash. So his rules do not cross the hash. Our H back is check release. Okay, so he's going to uh, step up. If the backer doesn't come, uh, if the backer comes, he's going to block him uh, and then if he doesn't come, we're going to get, again, a four yard shoot on the check release, uh, getting out there now. The trigger for this, and we use a trigger system. Um, you can use a lot of different things to read for your quarterback. We use a trigger system for our quarterback. And the trigger is the backside safety. This, we just have a five two quarters or, or cover two or whatever you want it to be. This is really a quarters look. Um, and so he's gonna trigger off that free safety. As long as that free safety stays to the backside, um, then he is going to continue to throw to the call side. If that free safety were to fly across, we would be getting uh, safety rotation. In that case, we would have a problem, a numbers game issue. Uh, and so we would wanna come back and look and basically work off of this corner with the post to the shoot back there. So that's where we're gonna trigger that. Um, the read for the quarterback, assuming that he's, he needs to read that uh, really on his second step. So he catches the snap, one, two, he needs to have it by now. Um, already know it and really needs to be seeing it on the first step after he catches the snap. And that's one reason that under center is a little bit easier uh, when you're using the trigger reads than the pistol um, because he can actually watch this guy as he drops. 
but he triggers off that safety. Safety stays, and then it's a deep to short read. Okay, so now he's going to be reading it deep to short. Um, if we were to get that strong safety flying to the flat or driving down on it uh, in the corner over top, we would want to hit the post. Um, as the strong safety stays back. One of the things with the quarters that this will do um, is cause a little bit of a crossing action. Uh, and most quarters will declare their lock before uh, 10 yards. If we're breaking these at 10 yards or deeper, uh, then they're going to have to run with those guys. This is also probably the place that I like this route concept the most is against cover zero. Uh, and because of the fact that you'll get the strong safety cleared out of the way uh, and get the break on the corner to the inside with nobody in the middle of the field. Deep to middle to short there. Um, and that's going to give you a good look at a uh, vertical stretch concept that you can use there. So this is a vertical stretch. It is not, some people will think that it is a horizontal stretch because of the post and the out. It is a vertical stretch, one to two to three for the quarterback. And again, once we choose our side, we don't come back to the other side. He's got one to two to three and then Get rid of it, take off running, do something else, but don't, don't come back over here. Um, if the trigger were to fly out, he would read deep to short on his check release. And that's post concept. And again, this is a, one of the key concepts uh, in our passing concepts that are part of the pistol power offense system. And in that system, I teach you how to tie in the protection, the quarterback drops, the quarterback reads, uh, everything that you need, where to use them, everything that you need to run a complete offensive system and so uh, definitely check that out there's a link for the pistol power offense system down in the description below here if you've enjoyed this video please go ahead and like and subscribe so that you don't miss any future videos and you can check me out on the football coaching podcast and also on twitter at football info